Well, with us is Chris Hagedorn with ADM. And Chris, thank you for joining us here on Cattleman to Cattleman today as we talk about your company, ADM. You know, it's always been a commodity company itself, but certainly here of late, we've seen a lot of buzz in the feed additive and compound feed space lately. For our viewers at home, explain to us why the increased focus these days on enhanced nutritional programs. Sure, Russell, thanks for spending some time with us today. You know, ADM has been a well-known commodity company, uh, providing a lot of co-products to the uh, cattle industry. And we know that there's additional nutrition that needs to be brought into the programs when we talk about those co-products. And so ADM's transitioning and really focusing on the value-added nutrition that we can bring through trace mineral supplementation, vitamin supplementation, and, and phytogenics. I was gonna say, that was my next question. Explain for folks at home what phytogenics are, a little bit about what is that, and what does it mean to your customers? Sure, so phytogenics are, are botanicals. They're natural extracts that we pull out of plants that have some value uh, to the biology of the animal. So we start talking about uh, ginseng in the human side. Well, we have garlic compounds, we have capsicum compounds that actually provide value to the cattle in combating different stresses that they may experience. And Chris, continuing on, I want you to now look into your crystal ball a little bit for us, uh, not just here at your trade show booth, but also for folks at home. What do you think we'll be seeing in the beef cattle industry these next couple of years? And how are you folks at ADM standing by ready to help? Sure, we actually have acquired a lot of different research assets, both in the US and abroad, that actually will bring these natural compounds into the beef industry and help us be proactive in how we uh, support those beef uh, producers, combat some of the stresses that those cattle have, making them more efficient in, in the long term. You know, and as we wind things up here, we've noticed over the past couple of years that ADM has certainly gained the reputation of helping animals with heat stress. What are some strategies that producers can use to mitigate losses from insects or heat stress? And give us a couple examples. Sure. So what we look at is those stresses actually decrease the performance of the animals. So as we are being proactive in applying some of those compounds to the nutrition, we actually can help the animal mitigate that stress and be more productive, either from a gestation, lactation point of view, or from a performance in, in a feed yard. So that's an area that we are strongly encouraging our customers to focus on as we move forward. Well, we appreciate you taking some time Russell. for us here on Cattleman to Cattleman. Thank you. I appreciate it, Russell. All right. Again, we've been visiting with Chris Hagedorn with ADM. And for more information about all of their expertise or, of course, all of their great products for the U.S. beef cattle industry, you can visit them online at ADMAnimalNutrition.com.